Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all feeling well and full of life. If not, then I hope you will be after this lecture, because today we'll be looking at both the life crystal and life fruits inherent to the world of Terraria. After all, they are functionally identical in what they do, so we might as well cover them together. The life items, namely the crystals and the fruit, can be used to permanently enhance the vitality of an individual. In simpler terms, this means to increase someone's health. The crystals can be found scattered throughout the deep underground of Terraria, whereas the fruit is found growing exclusively within the underground of the jungle. Additionally, it is not possible to gain any benefit from the life fruit until a person's health reaches a set amount. The life crystals found within the caverns deep underground tend to occur somewhat randomly, and no order of appearance has ever been observed for them. What is known is that these crystals do not grow within a rock formation, but rather appear upon a surface, and can be mined as a whole to be kept within an inventory for later use. To gain the power of a life crystal, it is likely that it needs to be smashed in order to release some contained power, which can then be absorbed by its holder. Many people acquaint the life crystals with mana crystals, and believe that they may be formed in a similar fashion. Some theories consider that where magical stars fall from the sky, and can be concentrated into mana crystals, a form of life essence rises up from the depths of Terraria, and concentrate into these crystals. Others think that they may have been crystallized souls of fallen heroes, and adventurers from long ago. What can be more easily theorised about, however, is the life fruit. As it is a fruit, the most logical conclusion to make is simply that the plant it grows upon contains a sort of potent substance that fortifies and strengthens the body of anyone who consumes it. However, there is merit in thinking that the plant is a product of the rising life energy hypothesis, that because the jungle, unlike the rest of the underground, contains a great deal of fertile earth, the life energy rising from Terraria's core is incorporated into jungle flora, eventually growing the fruit rather than a crystal. It it may also be that the growth process also concentrates the essence, as to why the fruit is most often consumed by individuals already possessing great strength. Typically an adventurer who is able to find a life fruit already has the strength to consume one, as they likely could not venture deep enough into the jungle to find one otherwise. This has resulted in very little being known about what would occur if someone who had never used the life crystal attempted to consume a fruit. A few consider that the person would instantly gain a huge amount of health. Others believe that they may die from the sudden rush of energy. The most popular conclusion, however, seems to be that absolutely nothing would occur, and that a person requires a set amount of strength already for the concentrated life essence in the fruit to work from. As with just about everything in Terraria, however, all of this is subject to speculation, with very little in the way of solid facts available to back up any of these theories. This is one of those situations where two items are very similar in their usage, but can be said to be very different in their power or rarity, and therefore rating. However, with the life items, it is somewhat subjective, with the rating effectively shifting depending on how strong you currently are. For instance, if you find a life crystal early on, it is extremely special, but later it's all but useless, with some people even using them to make lanterns. This is the same for life fruits as well, as a person's health can only be increased to a certain amount, and beyond that the fruit is effectively unneeded. Taking this all into account though, the life items have been collectively given the artifact rating of significant. Believe it or not, research on this topic is actually pretty difficult. For items so important, there is remarkably little information on them. Oh well, I guess searching for this stuff is what I get paid for, only I don't really get paid that much. So on that brilliant segue, you can support the course on Patreon if you want, and can get access to more lectures by subscribing. I hope you all have a great week, and I'll see you bright and early next time.